Hello traders, this is Aditya from the Trading Group's group for binary options and forex trading. Welcome to another video. I'm going to start my live trading session where I'm going to capture one of my trade and then break it down uh, to help you understand that how do I trade using the Zero Shadow binary option indicator and strategies. So without further ado, let's uh, have a look what's going on our charts. Uh, here we have uh, the NZD, ODD and CHF are the strongest currency. Uh, the top trending currency pairs are USD CHF, Euro CHF and GBP CHF. And uh, if we can have a look here, USD CAD and NZD JPY are the currency pairs we can choose from. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for one perfect setup and once I uh, enter my trade, I will continue with the video. So let's wait. Uh, sorry, I got a little late to uh, record this uh, trade, but I still want to uh, uh, record and explain this trade to you guys uh, for a better understanding. This is USD JPY, and I have uh, entered a sale trade here. Uh, actually, this is the second trade that I have took on this level, uh, which you can see very clearly that we are on a downtrend, and we have a nice uh, strong resistance level here. And you can see that we got the first uh, zero zero cell pull back here with the trend, which gave a nice five minutes winner. And then again, I got a next signal here, which entry I took right on this level. So I took uh, two trades here on the same level, uh, and I won this trade. Uh, I'm going to capture one more trade. I even though I have completed my today's uh, goal. But uh, due to I forgot uh, to record uh, uh, this uh, trade, I, I'm going to capture one more trade and then we'll continue. Uh, so here I have entered a buy trade on a GBP USD. So why I took this trade is a very simple. First thing, the TMI is confirming that we are on uptrend, which means we should be looking for buy trades only. The NOAA trend is also confirming that we have a buying momentum. And here what we can see that uh, we were having a resistance area uh, which after the breakout now the, for the first time the price is coming this loan for the retesting. So uh, here uh, I have seen a rejection from this level after the breakout. So now I am expecting this resistance uh, to uh, act as a support since we are on an uptrend and with we uh, we having a strong buying momentum so uh, let's see how this trade uh, will go i'm happy with my entry i got the entry right inside uh, the uh, support zone now we just have to wait for this trade uh, uh, to be uh, end and uh, we'll have a result so while uh, well this is the bonus trade that i have took i already have completed my today's uh, uh, target uh, but I just wanted to uh, capture one a good trade uh, to explain um, that uh, how you should be, what kind of trade setup you should be looking at, especially um, how uh, when a uh, support or resistance uh, change its role after a breakout. So uh, now we'll have to see that if it uh, works as a breakout or whether it works as a fake breakout. So that we'll get to know, but just in a case, if I lose this trade, the next level I also have to draw. The next level uh, would be here. So I'm not going to take any trade unless I, uh, I will reach my level. So if I lose, I'm going to have to recover this lost trade. Uh, so I'm going to uh, make sure where I should be taking my next trade. So while this trade is going on, let's have a look on our uh, today's uh, uh, trade manager. So today is the 24th day of my Get Rich Slowly Challenge and uh, um, achieving this target will get me to $236, which means 136% growth. Uh, I am still another six day uh, left to complete the 30 days and gain $192 of 192 percent gain uh, and complete a 30 days of challenge so all is going well so far uh, i'm still having the starting stake uh, between uh, three to four dollar so that's why i'm using a four dollar starting trade and um, so all is going well but let's see what is going okay so we can see that we're having a, a, a breakout here we can see that this is uh, probably 
uh, acted as a fake breakout. So uh, that's absolutely fine, such thing happens. But now since it's a fake breakout, I'm still going to use this level as a resistance. Um, now uh, this is going to be my next buying level if uh, the trend confirms me. So let's uh, wait. Okay, so you, I can see one setup is happening on USD JPY. Uh, if I get here, so I'm going to take, I'm not going to take this as a recovery trade uh, because uh, the first rule of recovery sequence is that you must take uh, that trade uh, on the same currency pair where you having uh, you had the loss. So uh, if I take this USD JPY trade, this is going to be a, a separate trade not as a recovery trade for GBP USD. So I took a sell trade on uh, USD JPY. Uh, let's uh, have wait for a recovery trade to happen on uh, GBP USD, but I'm going to wait for that now. I want the price to hit this level. I'm not going to enter otherwise. That patience we have to keep. So uh, since this level uh, didn't work as a support, so we're going to consider this level as a resistance. Uh, but this level here, we can still have a confirmation from NOVA trend and from TMI that we are on an uptrend. So, uh, and this is a good support level. So I need to wait for the price to hit and only then I'm going to take my trade, otherwise not. Let's see what's going on. Uh, USD JPY trade is going on. Good. Uh, okay. We'll have to wait. GBP USD. So we lost uh, the GBP USD trade. Now we need to wait for the GBP USD recovery trade. Uh, uh, the main reason why I'm uh, uh, capturing this recovery trade, as many uh, uh, traders have asked me to show how to do the recovery sequence so here i'm going to take this recovery sequence trade i'm going to make sure that i take my recovery trade on the same currency pair where i had the loss so yeah but uh, recovery trade doesn't mean you will trade randomly you have to be uh, take a perfect trade make sure that you apply all the rules when you are taking uh, this trade It's absolutely okay even if you miss. I'm not going to trade unless the price hit this level. That's the trading rule. So I will enter only and only if the price hit uh, the support level. If it doesn't, I'm going to wait for a, a sell setup or maybe some other setup to happen on USD JPY. Uh, on GBP USD, sorry. So let's see what's going on. GBP USD um, um, looking a little volatile right now. We can see the quick movements that's happening on uh, GBP USD. Uh, USD JPY is not showing that quick movements, but uh, GBP USD uh, looks a little volatile right now. So we can see we are getting a sell uh, pullback signal on GBP USD, but uh, for certain we are not going to take this trade. We'll have to wait for the price to enter and only trade when in our trading zone, not otherwise. So yeah, USD JPY trade is good, looking good right now. Uh, let's see how the GBP USD will go. If I win this USD JPY, this will almost recover my loss, but uh, um, still there are going to be a some percentage of loss. So while the GBP USD trade is happening, let me show you the USD JPY setup. 
So here you can see that on the USDJPY, I got a nice uh, a pullback sell signal uh, and that also on a resistance area. And all the trend, all the trend confirmations are in favor of our signal. So yeah, it was a good signal. GBP USD is also trying to come down, but uh, uh, right now it is nowhere near where we can take our trade. So we're gonna wait. There's no need to rush. There's no need to be impatient. Um, for those who uh, find uh, difficult to keep patience, what I'm going to suggest you that do not uh, stay on chart. Okay. Draw your setups, draw your levels, and once you know where you're going to take your trade, then all you have to do is wait for the price to reach there. Do not force a trade even if there's nothing. So don't uh, try to force, don't try to create a trade. So USD JPY, we want this trade. Now, uh, let's see, I'll wait for the recovery trade on GBP USD and then I'll continue. So uh, here I have uh, entered my recovery trade on GBP USD for the buy and the reason behind taking this buy trade is as I explained that I wanted the price to reach in my trading area and the NOAA trend is still confirming that we have a buying uh, momentum here. Market sentiment is also on oversold uh, area so uh, I'm expecting uh, the price to uh, bounce from this level. You will see so, the, this kind of uh, uh, differences between the broker and uh, your uh, uh, MT4. You can see the candle is absolutely two different type of candles being formed. So those kind of now I don't know what we should call it. Shall we call it a manipulation or shall we call it a maybe a different kind of data feed? They both are having the broker is having something else. Uh, the MT4 platform having something else, but yeah, sometimes this kind of issues happens, and uh, you may even lose trades because of uh, this kind of uh, differences. But uh, that's the we can we can call it that. That's the risk we have in trading, and uh, we uh, nothing much can do about it. So if we win, that's good, and if we lose, the only thing you can do is uh, forget, move on and uh, stick to your uh, strategy your system and your trading uh, money management because that's the only thing going to save you so again um, recovery trade as i said when you do the recovery sequence it's very important that you stick to the same currency pair where you had your loss and you make sure that you apply every rule on every trade you're going to take only then it will give you a higher chance of uh, 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 making a quick recovery uh, trade so that's very important that if it's not like that uh, no I, I didn't have to take this trade as I'm already now in plus of my today's target but uh, some members uh, had asked me to show some recovery trade sequence that what to do if you lose a trade some even asked, were asking me that what to do if I lose uh, three, four trades in a row. Uh, so I don't think if that something I can show you because I haven't uh, got any such uh, losing streaks where I got three, four losses in a row. Uh, and the reason behind that that if you uh, if you notice that you're getting uh, uh, two plus uh, uh, losses in a row uh, quite often. So that uh, is a clear sign that something is lacking, something which you are not following. Uh, so you need more practice. So whenever you will see that, okay, you're back to back, you're getting two losses in a quite often. Uh, that is keep on happening. And sometimes it goes, in, go, goes into three to four steps. So that, then it's an indication that something is lacking, something you are not following correctly. Because if you follow the pullback strategy, if you follow the one, two, three trading rules, uh, properly then I don't think that you will you're going to have such kind of losing streaks in a row uh, especially if you uh, uh, take your trades in a, a, a given um, trading uh, area so uh, yeah uh, that's the thing which you have to do I mean if you notice that you're having too many losses then uh, the only thing I'm going to suggest is that do not risk real money 
uh, you need to keep on practice, keep on practice when the average, uh, when the highest loss uh, streak will be like two losses in a row. I mean that even that should be even in a rare when you will be uh, very confident that you are applying uh, every rule on each trade because if you do that, it's very unlikely that you're going to have uh, that many losses in a row. So it's very important. So it looks like we, I, I I have uh, recovered my loss that I uh, had previously on GBP USD. Uh, plus, I made one extra win on USD JPY, so that gave me a, a additional profit uh, for today's uh, target. So that's a nice uh, winner with the trend following all the rules, and uh, that will take me uh, to completion of my 24th day of the Get Rich Slowly Challenge. So that is all from today's uh, live trading session. And it's a weekend, so that's all for my uh, for me uh, in this week. I'm going to start my session again on Monday, as I do not like to trade on weekends. I I, I find that's too much of trading, so I like to uh, stay off from live trading. Uh, I do uh, I do practice. I do uh, 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 do back testing and I do uh, strategy improvements on weekends if I have time. But uh, uh, mostly I try not to trade, mostly I try to be relaxed on my weekends and so that because uh, it's a good amount of uh, stress that you're taking for the next like five, five days of trading. So the, on the weekends I don't find it is necessary that you should trade because then it, I don't think that's professional. I mean and besides the weekend uh, over the counter markets are not real so I would say stay away from the, those markets. Uh, so that's all and uh, I hope uh, this week were profitable for, for you guys and hope you guys have learned a lot from uh, all these videos. I'm going to keep doing it uh, so that you can keep on uh, uh, watching this video and uh, if it's helping you, uh, I would uh, really appreciate uh, if you leave a comment, like and share this video. So let's uh, meet again on Monday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.